Hi! For this video, what we are going to do is we're going to discuss the difference between a discrete and a continuous random variable. Random variables are what are used in statistics to measure certain things. So the definition of a random variable, it's usually denoted by x. If you have two variables, we typically use x and y. You really could use any value or any letter to represent the random variable, but typically x is what is used if you have a single, and x and y is what is used if you have um, two things that you are comparing. But what the random variable does is it represents a numerical value associated with an outcome of a probability experiment. In the real world, we deal with a lot of random variables. We deal with things that change all the time. Like, for example, gas prices. Gas prices would be something that would be considered a random variable because every day it's a different price. You never know what it's going to be until you get there. There are two types of random variables that are typically used in statistics. The first one is a discrete random variable. A discrete random variable is anything that is finite or countable. If you use counting numbers to represent this, um, then it would be considered a discrete random variable. So, for example, the outcome when rolling a die. You only have six possibilities when rolling a die, so there's only six um, outcomes that are possible. But every time you roll the die, you get a different number. So the first time you might get a two, and then you might get a three. Um, the number of pizza restaurants in a city. So if you're calculating how many pizza restaurants, maybe you're looking at, should we allow another one to come in? Let's look at how many we already have. So um, the number of people who visit a theme park on any given day. This would be a discrete random variable that is much larger than the outcomes of rolling a die because we know that there's thousands upon thousands of people that um, visit a theme park on any given day. So if you have a random variable that is countable, um, then it's a discrete random variable. There are three main discrete random variables that are used, or three main discrete random distributions that are used. Um, geometric, Poisson, and um, binomial are the three most commonly used. The graphs of a discrete random variable are always going to be a histogram. And the reason it's a histogram is because the outcomes have to be a countable number. So it's whatever outcomes that are possible. The second kind of random variable that we deal with in statistics is what is known as a continuous random variable. A continuous random variable is in an uncountable number of outcomes. It's represented by an interval on a number line. For this, it makes sense to have de decimals or fractions. It's something that you can't count. It goes up in a continuous fashion, such as the gallons of gas in a fuel tank. When you're filling up the gallons of gas, it doesn't automatically go from one gallon to two gallons. You go through all the increments between one and two gallons before you get to two gallons. Um, the height of a person, this would be another continuous random variable, or the hour spent studying. For a continuous random variable, a continuous random variable, the graph is represented by a smooth curve. Um, some of the most commonly used continuous random variables or continuous um, distributions used in statistics are the normal distribution, which is by far the most often used, um, the T distribution, which is similar to the normal distribution, the F distribution, and chi-squared are the ones that are used the most often. I will have videos that represent all of the different distributions later, um, so make sure that you watch for those to see how the distributions look, how would you graph it, how do we deal with the um, variables, what are some of the different things that we can do, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood the difference between a continuous random variable, so something that is uncountable that goes in a continuous fashion, and a discrete random variable, so something that you can count. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure that you continue to watch the videos.